Today's recipe is canned turkey fried chicken bites. It's a very crispy, delicious, very crunchy from outside and very soft, tender and creamy, juicy from inside. You must try this appetizer. Hi, you are watching Plating with Saba Khan. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and comment. If you have a subscriber ready, go ahead and press the subscriber button. And while adding, there is a tiny bell icon so you press it and you will get all the notification of my upcoming video. Let's get started the recipe. Here I have taken the 200 grams of hunkar, 2 tablespoon of garlic paste and 1 tablespoon of ginger paste, chili flakes, Kasuri methi and here I am using the chicken 65 masala that is homemade I am using and you will get in the any departmental store any brand you can use 2 tablespoon of chicken 65 masala 1 tablespoon of mustard oil and half lemon juice squeeze it I am not adding the salt in it because in uh, chicken 65 masala salt is al already there. Mix it well. Better use the whisker and mix. Yes. And now wash the chicken. Here I have taken 700 grams of chicken and nicely I have washed it and in excess water drained out. And then I have transferred in a big bowl and transfer all the mixture which you have prepared. And remember one thing when you are purchasing the chicken it should be boneless and small in size so easily it can marinate and cook. It's an excellent appetizer and you are going to make very rich and flavorful for your family and friend. You can make it in any party or any birthday or anything you can make it. Just you have to have, use the tongue and roll each and every piece so nicely it can coat with this in, um, ingredients. But I don't like this uh, color so just to give the nice bright color i have added this food color that is orange and red color and that is completely optional you can escape also now it's nicely coated now I cover it and keep it for the marination at least minimum marination time is two hour or maximum two whole night you can keep for the best result so next step of cooking we are moving the two cups of brown bread crumbs I have taken and two cups of refined flour maida and third is egg and this recipe two eggs is required right now I am beating one egg and little salt I am adding in all and some chili flakes beat the egg properly now everything is set up. Mix the salt, 2 cup of breadcrumb, 2 cup of all-purpose flour and beaten egg. Take one piece of chicken and roll it on the all-purpose flour that gave a base coating and it will help to egg stick better way to hold it and after that you can roll it with the breadcrumb. Same way you have to keep on repeating with other pieces. We all should definitely know how to dish out some fried chicken at home and give your kids, family, friends a real treat by recreating this quintessential snacks at home. And this Kentucky fried chicken bites recipe is really very different and you will get more flavorful whatever you are getting from the restaurant. You must try this recipe. Because it's marinated in a host of amazing flavorful spices. So it will give very juicy, very flavorful from inside and very creamy. And this way the coating will give very crispiness and very crunchy. So nicely you have to coat first with the flour, um, refined flour. Now you can see all side it must coat it well. So it gives a nice base coating then you have to dip it in the egg and after that you have to hold it to remove the excess egg and then roll it on the breadcrumbs. 
if you want to store it on this stage yes you can use the any ziplock bag and in same way you have to place it inside and store in the freezer for 3 days you can after that you can fry it so one batch is ready now let's go to the stove to deep fry first you have to check the oil it's heat up or not so i have taken the any wooden thing you can place it is not hot enough when the bubble is coming from the surface means it's ready to fry now you can see the bubbles are coming from the surface this temperature is required it should not be very hot because uh, it's a raw chicken we are using here so it will take time to tender or if the oil is very hot and very smoky so it will burn and it will not cook from inside on a low to medium flame and immediate when you are placing so many pieces in a wok so immediate the temperature of the oil will reduce so in it's a low to medium flame you have to fry and not to run this spoon around only once you have to flip it upside down that's all and fry it till it become golden brown both the side now you can see the color is completely golden and in this stage remove all in the strainer and drain up all the excess oil so it become very crispy don't place it directly on the tissue paper same way another batch you have to place one by one very gently and slowly and it should not be overcrowded little you have to move and flip upside down it will take hardly 6 minute 5 to 6 minute and it's so delicious you are going to make it two more batches i know because you find it flying on the dining table see from inside is so juicy now you can serve it hot with tomato ketchup szechuan chutney mint chutney or any other accompaniments as your desire remain in the strainer for at least for 5 minutes till the another batch is ready so the excess oil will remove and it become very crispy and crunchy don't directly put on the tissue paper the third batch is already ready it's all done it's a time to plating anyhow you can plate some salad some So here I have some slice of cucumber placing on the serving dish. Anyhow you can decorate. This is my style. First cucumber slices and topping with tomato slices. And now you can see it's so tempting. Oh my goodness it's really irresistible it's a mouth watering no one can stop it i know you are going to make it two more batches i know and when you will keep on the table it will fly within no time and here i have served with some mint chutney mayonnaise and szechuan chutney and this is ready if you like my recipe please do like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching it's a time for testing i will show you break one piece it's too hot to handle but i will break it's so juicy and soft and very well cooked from inside and very crunchy and crispy from outside with mint chutney any sauces you can use and they get very different flavor It's an amazing recipe by Sabah Khan, Kentucky Fried Chicken by.